everyone, it's Mrs. Davies here, and you are joining us for our fourth Wellbeing Wednesday Assembly today. And today we're going to be focusing on something really important, something that all of us experience. We're going to be thinking and talking about our feelings today. There will, at the end of our assembly, just as there always is, be a little challenge, so make sure you're listening really carefully. We're going to start first of all by making our opening prayer together. So if you could join me in making the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. What I'd like you to do first of all is just take a moment to close your eyes and I want you to place your hand over your heart. Take a moment to just really think about your breathing. I want you to imagine now that Jesus is right there in that room with you. Imagine perhaps that he's on the sofa with you. What would you say to Jesus if he were right there with you? What perhaps do you think that Jesus would reply? Let us pray together. Jesus, help me to think about myself during these times and how I reflect upon my own thoughts and feelings. Protect me and remind me how to be grateful. Thank you for loving me. Amen. So at the moment, you can see that I'm in school, but things are a little bit different for all of us at the moment. And with that come so many different feelings. What type of feelings are some of you perhaps experiencing at the moment? Some of these feelings can maybe be happiness. Maybe we're really enjoying spending time at home with loved ones. Maybe some of us are feeling perhaps a little bit sad and that's perfectly normal, but there are things that we can do to turn those feelings around. Maybe somebody could be worrying about something, but again, there are things we can do to change this and to calm us down. One of the things that I was worried about was not getting to see my class for a really long time. On your screen, you will see some characters and they're from a film that maybe some of you might know. It's one of my favourites and it's a film called Inside Out. Now all of the characters there represent all of the feelings that each one of us has, perhaps even on a weekly basis. One of the characters is called Joy. Another is called Sadness. Then there's anger and there's disgust and fear. And they all represent the feelings that each one of us has. Today, we're going to be looking at and reading a beautiful story. And it talks to us about the certain feelings that we might have and how our body reacts to it if we're feeling in a certain way. I want you to think and listen really carefully to the story. Perhaps there's maybe a feeling that the character in the story has. Maybe you've reacted in a similar way. The story that we're reading today is called Listening to My Body. My body is my friend. It tells me lots of things. I yawn when I'm tired. My stomach growls to let me know when I'm hungry. And sometimes I even get goosebumps when I'm cold. This happens all on its own, without me doing anything. I may not even notice that it's happening, but I can start paying attention to my body, and so can you. Let's practice. Look really closely at the palm of your hand. I want you to trace the lines on your hand with your finger. Now why don't you try and switch and trace the lines on your other hand. How did that feel? When I pay attention and listen to my body, I notice many different sensations. Sensations are physical feelings we have inside and outside of our body. Cold, sweaty, strong and breathless these are all examples of some sensations. Have you ever felt these sensations before? Let's practice. I want you to rub your hands together really quickly for 30 seconds. 
What do you notice? Heat? Tingles? Sweat? Anything else? These are all known as sensations. The sensations in my body are always changing. There are times when my body is so wiggly and squirmy that it's like I've got ants in my pants. At other times, my body is calm and still. Sometimes, the beat of my heart is like a gentle tap. Sometimes, it feels like a pounding drum. Let us practice. Put your hand over your heart and find its beat. Don't worry though if you can't. Now, we're going to jump up and down really quickly for 15 seconds. Off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Whew. Put your hand on your heart again. What happened to your heartbeat? Did it change or did it stay the same? Do you notice anything else, like a change in your temperature or maybe your breathing? I can also listen to my body for clues about how I'm feeling about th things happening around me. Feelings are not good or bad. They're something that all of us experience. Curious, proud, grumpy and scared, these are feelings that all of us have. What other feelings can you perhaps name? What I've learned from listening to my body is that sensations and feelings go together. I noticed this when I got to ride a roller coaster for the very first time. I was super excited that I was finally tall enough to ride it, but I also felt nervous as I climbed on board. My belly felt squishy and fluttery. My mum calls that having butterflies in my stomach but I thought it felt more like a kitty chasing ping pong balls in there. What sensations do you notice when you feel either excited or nervous? When I got off the roller coaster, I was buzzing and tingly all over. My eyes were like saucers and I had a smile plastered on my face. I felt awesome. Let's practice. Place your hand on your belly and take 10 deep breaths. Notice your belly as it moves in and out with each breath. How does your belly feel? Soft, relaxed, tight, something else? Sometimes when I'm sad, I get a lump in my throat that makes it hard to talk or to breathe. Soon, Warm tears roll down my face and I may start to cry harder. Crying makes me feel better. So do hugs. We all feel sad at times. What do you need when you're sad? Let's practice. Wrap your arms around yourself and give yourself a gentle hug. Move your hands up and down your arms. Squeeze a little tighter and find what's best for you. Do you like a tight hug or a gentle hug? My mum once explained to me that sensations of feelings are like waves in the ocean. Some come crashing in while others roll in gently and they always come and go. We can't stop the waves from coming but we can pay attention to them so that they don't knock us over. Sometimes my skin gets burning hot and my jaw and fists feel hard as rocks. That happened to my body the last time I got really angry at my sister. She just destroyed the puzzle that I was working on all afternoon. I stomped my feet and I slammed the door, but I really wanted to kick it. But then I remembered to take deep breaths and slowly blow out of my lips like a horse. And it didn't take long for my jaw and my hands to relax 
and for my skin to cool down. The angry feeling and sensations, they started to fade away. Blowing horse lips even made me feel a little silly and it tickled. I decided to put the puzzle on a table that my sister couldn't reach. Let's practice. Close your mouth so that your lips touch gently. Inhale through your nose and blow a strong puff of air through your mouth so that your lips flap like a horse's. Try that a couple of times. What do you notice? How do your lips and your jaw feel? Sometimes I get overwhelmed and I need help from a grown-up. On the first day of school, I woke up super early because I couldn't stop thinking about what my new class would be like. My stomach felt like it was tied in knots so I didn't eat breakfast. In class, it was hard for me to focus on my new teacher. Ms Morgan was saying, and my body was shaky. When it was time to line up, I accidentally bumped my desk and knocked my stuff all over the floor. Everything was going wrong. Ms Morgan helped me to pick up my things and I took deep breaths like she reminded me. I told her about my morning and she explained that our brains have a hard time thinking about when our bodies are tired and hungry. Miss Morgan thought I would feel better if I had a snack and maybe rested in a quiet place while the whole class was at playtime. She was right. I was calm and then able to focus, so the rest of my day went much better. It's okay to get help when we need it. Who is an adult who maybe helps you? At other times when I'm upset, I can figure out what I need on my own by listening to my body. I can pay attention to my breathing, my heartbeat, the temperature of my skin, or to any other sensation. Am I hungry or am I thirsty? Tired or am I full of energy? Is my belly tense and tight or is it soft and relaxed? These are just some of the things I can ask myself. I can also try to name my feelings. Do I feel peaceful or playful? Am I confused or am I frustrated? Am I hurt or cranky? There are many different ways I may be feeling and all of those are okay. Listening to my body and naming what I feel takes practice, but it helps me to figure out what I need. Do I need to have a snack, a drink, some water, or just to get some rest? Do I need to take deep breaths or sing my favourite song? Do I need to sit in a quiet place alone or go outside and jump around? I can colour or draw, do dance, cuddle with my dog or hang around with someone I love. These are things that I do that make me feel calm or happy or peaceful. Everybody is different, so you get to decide what feels best for you. The more I practice listening to my body, the better I get at responding with care and kindness for myself. I can get better at listening to my body, and so can you. Let's practice. Listen to your body. Do you want to sit down or do you want to stand up? Do you need to be still or move around? Would you like to wiggle and jiggle or hop or dance? It's your body so you get to decide. Move in a way that feels good to you. So as we can see there in the story, the character felt lots of different feelings at different times. They felt nervous, they felt excited, they felt angry perhaps even at times. And it's important that sometimes we listen to those feelings and think about how we can tackle them in a positive way. Some of the favourite things that they did was the jumping up and down. I really liked that one. Other things that they did was maybe having a rest, and recognising that maybe they're just feeling a little bit tired. 
Some of the things that I like to do that help me when maybe I'm feeling a little bit upset or sad is I like to speak to my mum and sometimes I like to relax and read a book. So now you can see our follow-up challenge. So what I'd like you to do is to send in either through the Facebook page or you can send it to our email address, um, the image that is on your screen there. What I want you to do is create a piece of artwork and in the middle there, show something that makes you feel calm, safe or loved. So for example, I might draw a picture of my mum or a book inside my outline. Okay, now we've got a joke that I want to share with you. What is a pirate's favourite letter? No? Arr. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us for our Wellbeing Wednesday assembly. Um, we hope that you have a lovely half term. We are missing you so much, um, but get out there and enjoy the sunshine. Bye, everyone.